Hey guys, it's Kirsch Webby back in the shop tonight. Um, messing around with the plasma table again, obviously. Um, but anyway, uh, I've been playing around on Fusion 360 a little bit, and I wanted to show you guys something. Check this out. So here's a sign that I designed for a fella, and um, this was basically generated from a monogram uh, uh, generation tool. And there are so many nodes in this thing that whenever you do a dry run on the plasma torch, it is real shaky and basically causing the torch to go super slow. So if you go over here in Fusion 360 and you're um, messing around with the settings and you select smoothing, um, I don't know if it's uh, like this for everyone else, but this was... Uh, basically originally set at 0 .0004, four tenths of an inch, which is like nothing. Um, I kept on bumping it up. It seems to me like the largest you can make this number is four thousandths. But holy cow, run it in dry run at four tenths versus four thousandths, and you'll see a huge difference. Um, so I actually haven't uh, ran anything to compare it yet. I'm um, getting ready to right now. Um, I ran them in dry run, and but I never actually cut anything with it yet. So far, I've selected smoothing in the past, uh, but it was at .0004, and it probably really didn't even do anything, because that's basically nothing at all. Um, so anyway, we're going to run this sign right now. It's approximately 25 by 29 inches and we'll see what happens. So follow me along over here and let's check it out. Bear with me one moment while I adjust my settings here. Should be good to go. That smoothing setting really uh, helps out your flow of your torch speed a lot. It's not so jumpy and jittery. I've done several monogram signs before this one on my old machine and it, it was way fidgety. Didn't have that option. I can already tell this is going to be a big improvement. This is also the very first cut that uh, I'm doing with the new upgrades. I got the four drains installed in the table. I'm using Sterling Cool. I'm also using the refrigerated dryer from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm cutting at 240 inches a minute and right about 40 amps on the Razor Cut 45. I have a one second pierce delay. Uh, I 
take my lead-ins right about a uh, quarter inch long lead-in. My lead-in feed rate is 80 inches a minute. If there's anything else, uh, any other settings you guys need to know, uh, let me know. I think I'm cutting uh, right at 60 thousandths above the plate. I got my torque height control on. I think the next thing I'm going to have to do is get an exhaust fan in here. Lots of smoke. All right, looks pretty good. If you guys got any questions about settings or my setup, uh, don't forget to leave a question in the comments. Uh, feel free to do that. And please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Have a good one, guys.